What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. As you can see behind me here, we have a really, really cool looking C8 Corvette we're going to go over today. But the most important part of this thing is this has a Z06 wing. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, guys, so like I said there in the beginning, this is, in fact, a Z07 style wing on the back of a C8 Corvette, not a C8 Corvette Z06. This is just a base C8, but this is one of the best looking base C8s I have seen. The owner here has done some incredibly tasteful mods, and there are mods that I have not seen on another C8 out there. So number one, the big Z07 style wing here. This thing is fantastic. I love this on the Z06, of course, but it works really well on the C8 too. Now, obviously looking at the rear, it really plays well with it because of this different diffuser we have down here. And we're gonna go over the name of all of these parts here in a second, but I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick tour of the car, the things that stand out to me the most. Obviously he has an aftermarket exhaust. He's got the different diffuser there. The Z07 style spoiler. He's got some air diffusers up here at the top of the car. Different wheels, different side skirts. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a different front lip. Of course, this is like a ZR1 style with those big canards on the side. He's got the radiator grill guards in there. This thing's basically modded out to the max. And the best part is, is yeah, it's shadow gray. They didn't make a whole lot of these, but if you guys can remember right, the OG fans of the channel, you'll remember this is the very first color car I ever drove of a C8. So this thing's like bringing back some memories for me. But check out the interior guys. The, the black and red goes incredibly well with the shadow gray, the red calipers, the, the stance wheels. And then of course, under the hood, so to speak, we got the typical carbon fiber engine appearance package here with a aftermarket engine cover, of course, red again to match those calipers. And then a couple billet aluminum covers over there from Paragon again, it looks like. He also has a whole tech intake in there. It's kind of hard, you can't really see it without ripping the entire uh, trunk out. So I'm not gonna show you, but just trust me, there's a whole tech in there too. And then of course we got the, the tow hooks up front. We got a tow hook in the rear. It all plays really well very very well so let's meet the owner all right guys this is ty this is the owner of this particular car so we're going to ask him a couple questions we're going to pick his brain a little bit because obviously he has the answers he's the one that built this thing i'm really 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 impressed with the car by the way ty thank you it looks fantastic you did a fantastic job with it but first off tell me who makes that front splitter actually this is a zr1 style front splitter we actually got this off ebay, eBay. if you can believe it or not <laughs> oh this was God. from ebay this was 299 dollars wow so the reason why we decided to go with this one is because we have the Maxton kit from Paragon wrapped around the whole entire car. That initially came with the, the front as well. Um, but the problem is I don't have front lift. And because of that in South Florida, there's a lot of potholes and divots. We kept cracking front lift. So eventually we looked for something that wasn't gonna come out and down. We wanted something that came straight out. Okay. And so this was an option for me to try to see if it worked before I bought something more expensive. And I actually like it so much that I decided to keep it. Yeah, dude, it, the fitment on this for an eBay kit, it's fantastic. So let's move on to the wheels. What kind of wheels are these? Uh, these are stance wheels. We got these from Motorsports LA. Uh, great company over on the west coast um, I was trying to decide what to put on them because we had a, just we had so many issues with just the fitment of the wheels initially they're just so tucked into the fender when you get them from the factory yeah and spacers were an option but you know we decided we wanted to go a little bit extreme one piece at a time with this car and these wheels stood out and the price was right we got these at the time for I think these were also about $1,900 those look very nice. They look like pretty expensive wheels. So you got the, obviously the red caliper hiding behind there really helps make that like, what is that? Like gunmetal almost pop. Yeah, it's, it's not quite silver. Two-tone gunmetal. Yeah, two-tone, okay. Yeah. Very cool. So then the side skirts you said were? Those are, um, that's the Maxton kit from Paragon. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have the Maxton wrapping all the way around the sides and in the back as well. So the diffuser is the same as well. Yep, also Maxton. Now, those of you wondering, he just took the mesh out of the rear diffuser here. So you can see the, the exhaust back there. That's obviously Paragon as well. We got the red tow hook here. Who, who makes the tow hooks? Uh, VMS. VMS. Yeah, a lot of them were kind of just standard, just looking tow hooks. This one's a little bit more angular by yeah. like the car. So we thought yeah. this would be a better fit for it. Yeah, I think it is. Tail lights aren't tinted, right? 
Uh, no, we just got the overlays. So they're just, they're, they're literally just stick and peel overlays that go over them. Okay. So that was a super easy mod. Does that, is that on the red part too? No, no. I don't just know on, why there's little yeah, tinted. Just on the reflector, it's blacked out on the reflector, yeah. but it's tinted on the, yeah, on I the see reverse that. lines and returns and things. It, somehow that makes this look darker too. It's weird. Because that, that doesn't look as bright red to me as they usually do. So how about the uh, air diffuser up here at the top? Uh, that's going to be the vortex generator from Paragon Performance. Okay. So a lot of this stuff's from Paragon, but I have not actually seen any of this stuff in action. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these installed. Some of it, I know I know the way you guys are out there are gonna think, oh, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. But I'm telling you, for some reason it works on this car and I really don't know why. Normally I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of that kind of stuff myself, but this thing, there's something about the way that this car is set up that's just, it's awesome. Ultimately, we're gonna have to address the elephant in the room here, and that is, who makes the Z07 style spoiler? Oh, the Z07 style spoiler was something that I thought it was a rumor. I thought it was Photoshopped. So as soon as that pre-order came out, I was probably one of the first ones on there. And I waited actually till the beginning of October, to the beginning of this month. And it showed up at my front door. And I honestly didn't believe it was real until it showed up. Wow. So yeah, Sagala created this beautiful Z07 style wing. And the process to put it on is just like any other wing. If you're replacing a wing on a Z51, you know, you got to lift it, wheels come off, bumper has to come off, that's about 50,000 screws. Um, then you have, a, you have a structural piece that's going to secure to the inner side of the car. It's going to be, you have to drill into it, and then you sandwich everything back together, and then you have to go in, pull the trunk layer back, and then you secure it and thread it. And you can drag this car around. You can grab it and you can pull it down the street. It's not going anywhere. If you guys are interested in something like this from Sagala, uh, Ty actually has a, a discount code for you. Yeah, the Sagala fam was uh, happy enough to pass on a code from me, and it's going to be Fox C8. So if you go there, whatever wing you order, just put in Fox C8 to check out, and they're going to give you 5% off your wing. So just so you guys know, he also has an Instagram account and a YouTube channel, but at least the Instagram is Silver Fox, right? Yeah, Silver Fox C8. Guys, this thing is really, really something else. I follow him pretty closely on Instagram. He's, he's posting quite a lot of content with this car. And when I saw he got this wing, I said, hey, I, I gotta see this thing in person. So for those of you out there waiting for a Z06, let's face it, the majority of us aren't getting one of these cars. And if you have a C8, why not make it look like a Z06? It'll, it'll help your, uh, your addiction a little bit. Maybe, you know, cure those balloons that you have I since you better. can't get the car. I yeah, feel, exactly. I feel better. I feel better. Yeah. So you were waiting for a you were waiting for a Z06. Now you're not, right? No, no. Um, I like the Z06, um, but for me personally, I think the way to go is forced induction for the C8. Yeah. So I would rather get twin turbo or maybe a pro charger. I saw some kits out there. You can get 230 plus horsepower. Yeah. So that's probably the way I'm gonna go. So if pro charger is listening and they want to send me a pro charger. <laughs> slap it on yeah <laughs> well not only that now it looks like a z06 so you'll basically have a z06 killer for quite a bit less plus you don't have to wait for it you already got it so. oh yeah i don't feel like waiting three years yeah the z07 style spoiler is what you're really here for and I'll, i'm going to kind of go over this in great detail so obviously with the actual z07 spoiler we wouldn't have the screws here on the end for the end caps that is all one molded piece now there is something for this were you saying that you could put in here that would uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna talk to Sagala. I think it does, they have. They, they might be developing caps for this or just black screws. Okay. So that's an easy way to hide it. Yeah. But uh, me personally, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to them and I'm gonna see if I can get some carbon fiber ones to yeah. put on the end. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I think that would be a neat one. Yeah, because it would go right there with your carbon fiber exhaust exactly. tips. But obviously, like I said, the end caps are molded on the Z07 part. So he's working on getting this taken care of so that's not quite as visible. He also said that the actual Z07 wing is a little bit it's more angled forward? Yeah, I think it angles, it's tilted up a little bit more and maybe a little bit out like this. Okay. So it's not 100% a replica. Yeah, I think this, yeah, they so probably changed it up a little bit so it would fit the C8 better than obviously yeah, the Z06. Yeah, because it's going to, I mean, the, the Stingray's a little bit narrower yeah, than yeah. the Z07. So other than that, guys, we have just the two center points of uh, connectivity. So nothing on the outside, which I know a lot of you are going to ask, well, wait a second, this comes with a four post connection what did you do with the outside one well for right now there's a cap that goes on the outside you can only just barely see it you got to be looking for it pretty well to see 
the cap here that's hiding the, the last two holes. Now, this is something that is going to be adjusted, he said, because it has to be a little bit more stealth, I guess. It's gonna be adjusted to look a little bit better. Yeah, the, the place we got it installed at, they, they did a better job on this side than they did on that side. So this is closer to what it should be like, but it should be pressed down just a little bit more. So we're gonna get that fixed. But okay. the cool is that part just is- tape? Uh, yeah, they send it to you pre-taped. Okay. Yeah, so you can go ahead and get that locked in there. And um, it's you painted also... to your color or did they... Yeah, whatever yeah. color you want. Okay. You know, probably you're going to match your car. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, like he said earlier, the, the Z07 car is obviously wider than the C8, so the spoiler width has to be adjusted as well from the people over at Sakala. But I, I'm, I'm impressed with the, the installation here because for the most part, it looks pretty freaking good. I mean, you can't really tell that this wing didn't come on the car. And he was telling me you can literally grab the center of this wing and pull the car around with the wing because of how it's attached. It's attached in a way that it's not just bolted to the bumper and they call it a day. So basically this is a really good way to get a Z07 if you can't get a Z07. So yeah, big thumbs up to Sagala. That looks awesome. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to drop a link to Sagala down in the description below, as well as Ty's discount code for the wing. If you're interested in grabbing one, you definitely should use that coupon code because, hey, 5% is 5%. But anyway, I want to give a big thank you to Ty for letting us kind of crawl all over his car today. Super nice car. Awesome dude in person. I've met him at least once before here at the shop at, in Miami. But uh, guys, go check him out. It is Silver Fox C8. I'll drop that in the description down below as well. His Instagram account is blowing up because of the car and because of his other cars. He's got a couple different cars on there, but this, this is the this is the real pride and joy, right? This is my baby. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ty, thank you again. It was a real honor to crawl over the car. Thanks for stopping by, letting us take a look at it. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Always good to stop by the shop. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.